chapter. I gotta go find my. We gotta go find my uh, knife. Oh. You are still watching me? You are a freak. It's that knife. Okay, he got a knife right here. <clears throat> mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now they gonna be tight. I'm just looking at that artwork down now. I gotta chop up a couple things. These things about food gambling too. I done went through these so hard already. Woo! Lord Jesus. Just need to chop up some stuff. And I ain't got my uh my cut cut board, cut pad, whatever it's called. I ain't got it up in here yet. What that's gonna pretty much do is just allow me to be able to cut without having to put the foam board down because told y'all in other videos I ain't trying to mess up my table that I just had created. This ain't something that was here already. We custom created this for the shop. So I want to keep it purdy as long as possible. I'm going to go and slap this up under here. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, some stuff ain't meant to be seen, but I'll be showing y'all everything, because I don't be true. I want y'all to learn. Nobody taught me nothing, said nothing to me, and what y'all need to start learning, actually, I'm going to keep it 100 with you while I'm working and doing my thing. More than learn how to do this stuff, because y'all definitely need to learn how to do this stuff. Man, y'all need to learn how to start taking care of y'all credit. That's the more important part right there, because I'm able to do a whole bunch of stuff because my relationship with money is good. So, you know, I can go get $100,000 to put into a business idea hell i can probably go get more than that to be honest which i got excellent credit and uh y'all really do need to start tapping into that and learning the importance of why you want to keep some good credit everybody want to show you how to make something don't nobody want to show you how to do it the smart way i'm gonna start doing that but right now we're gonna talk about this because i don't want to mix messages so y'all definitely need to stay tuned to get that type of information you did. But you hold up for a second. All right, that thing back there is doing what it's got to do. You dig is doing what it's got to do. Coming around here to grab this big ass ruler. I bought this when I was at my old shop. Actually comes in pretty handy, I'm gonna be honest with you. Till I get my vinyl cutter. I got one coming on the way, man. I can't wait to get here. That's gonna free up a lot of time. But this right here is kind of time consuming. But get it done by hand. Somebody give a damn. Getting some good quality stuff. Tables of right size, knife is sharp, just sharp enough to get through what it needs to get through. I don't need to go crazy. I just need to follow the rule.
So that's cut. I'm gonna take this top piece off. I'm just gonna set it right here on the floor. I'm just doing this thing. I really should have caught that up so it can roll down through the bottom, but I'm gonna chop that up as soon as it come up. And I'm gonna show y'all me doing that one as well. But anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna show it. Let y'all sit and watch me chopping up all of it. I'm just uh showing y'all this little piece right here just to show you what I'm doing. What I'm chopping up. So the part I really want y'all to see is my semi-automatic grommet machine. Man, I'm so happy and proud of this little thing. Because it makes grommetting so much more easier. Man, you don't know. A few weeks ago, boy, I was actually getting down on the ground. Slapping in grommets. I'm like, nah. I be wholesale. I can't be doing this. Plus, at the other shop, I used to have carpet. Ain't no carpet over here. This all hard. Concrete flows. Now, I'm not finna be getting down there with my knees. We got your mama mind, boy. No, sir. I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this one. And then show y'all what it looked like after I get done. Slicing and dicing. I'm not gonna let y'all sit here and watch me do all of them, but... Just enough. But when I get this vinyl cut, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do a whole bunch of these right here. Website on there showing a couple of group members and one of the actual group moderators. And uh, I'm going to uh, grommet these and I'm going to show y'all what they looking like and how I'm going to hit the neighborhood with them. Let me pull this mat, this banner out quick Ooh, y'all see them color that joker back there doing his thing but anyway let me chop up the rest of these i'm gonna turn this camera off and i'm gonna uh come back when i get through chopping them up and i'm ready to put the grommets in them so i can show y'all this semi-automatic joint that i got man i'm loving it give me a hot second a lot of people have been wanting to know, how do you sublimate on cotton? We have a 100% cotton t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a gilding heavy cotton. Can you see that? Can you focus in? The recipe, the heat to be 375 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm gonna call it uh, cotton subs. It's actually a piece of material uh, that's supposedly gonna give us the ability to print on cotton. Right, we're gonna place this, the rough side down on the shirt. Let's go ahead and press it. Calls for a hot peel. saying nothing because I ain't tried it out yet guys but this shit dope look this is the shirt sublimate on cotton white looking white black looking black blue looking blue this is sublimating on cotton and look at this now you probably hearing something that's the actual cotton shirt the material is probably not making any noise whatsoever because i already showed it to you and it made absolutely no noise but look at that man that's bananas all right all right ladies and gentlemen Thank you guys for uh, checking back in or not leaving, Ashley, because you was already watching this video. But I have finally got done chopping up all of my stuff. I got a big old thing of banners over there that I had, probably about 10, 12 banners that I had out that I need to grunt at and get those up out here. But this is a big banner. I've never did a big banner. I've only been doing small banners, but this is a big banner, which would usually probably take me a whole bunch of time to do. But with my new semi grommet machine man it's gonna make this thing easy because i i ain't gotta set it make sure it's even punch it sometimes it's off a line i gotta go back i gotta take those things out i gotta get it again 
and it had two pieces to it this thing only has one piece that goes in that it's going to grum at it real quick so let me show y'all i'm not sizing up anything i'm just putting grommets in it we gone down to the next spot and i don't even know exactly what spot needs to be but i'm gonna press it down here on the ends and it's actually on wheels on the bottom guys it's got wheels on the bottom so it slides across the table without messing it up so let's go ahead and grommet down here I'm telling you i'm loving this machine I'm gonna put one in the middle, not really knowing where the middle is, but this is an eight foot table. So take it, it'll probably be somewhere like right up in here. Let's go ahead and slap one in here as well. So we good to go on that side. This is crazy guys, I'm telling you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unroll one side and roll up another side. So I'm gonna do that whole side. Nice and easy peasy. I'm gonna do that whole side. Just like I just did this side. You are gonna roll it out. Roll the other side. It's gonna make it easy. Easier. All right. Slide that bad baby around. I'm tripping. Slide it around. Boom. I'm gonna get it again. Let's see. I'm gonna start down here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, this would take me a nice amount of time. I bought this thing from China somewhere. I'm not exactly sure the exact name of it. They do have it in America. I've seen them priced for uh, probably three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars, as high as like seven hundred bucks. So. It really depends on where you purchasing from. But uh, you can definitely get one in the States. I'm calling it the semi automatic grommet machine. It would be automatic, but I'm actually putting some power in it. Oh, I think I was talking about that earlier about why I like things that are semi automatic over full, full automation machinery because stuff breaks down you don't eventually have to get to a point of uh needing to replace something it's just so much more easier on machines like this all right so that stuff is done on the edges give me one second going side by side what i'm gonna do is I'm going to put this down for a second and I'm going to do the top and the bottom, which I really don't have to do much because it's already grommeted on the sides and on the top. All I got to do is hit it with a grommet in the middle and it really don't need none in the middle to keep it a buck, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. All right, what we're gonna do right now is just hit it one grunt mat in the middle. That one grunt mat in the middle is just going to, you know, just in case they want to do something extra with it. But hitting it down the side three times and then hitting it in the middle one time, that's gonna give it all the uh, sturdiness and everything that it needs. So we not measuring no more. I used to measure this stuff. Man, I ain't measuring nothing. I'm putting it in a spot that I think will do your banner well. You need it right there. That's where you need it at. Now we're gonna roll it down. And if I wanted to secure this a little bit better, I would actually 
use some of the scraps that's on the flow. Y'all can't see them, but I will use some of the scraps that's on the flow. Cut those down and probably two, two and a half inch squares, which they are already squares. I ain't doing them and just chopping them up in two or three inches. I will put those in the corner up under the grommets to give it a little bit more sturdiness. Y'all see how that's doing? Nice and peasy, baby. Nice and easy. Peasy, baby. Easy peasy. All right, guys. That is it. We out of here. So if you ever get a chance, look it up online. I'm not exactly sure the exact name, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I got a company I've been dealing with for a little while. I bought a, uh, a machine to actually help lubricate and help... Um, unclog some print heads and I'm just going through their stuff and I found this right here and I was like you know what I'm gonna invest in one of these because I'm so tired of struggling with the one that I got so y'all see it man it's a little bit heavy it got some weight on it I would say probably about 35 40 pounds maybe but good machine man I don't know how long it took me to do that video maybe five minutes all together maybe 10 all together but that process that it would usually take me because I would actually be chopping this thing up on the floor on top of some two by fours because I didn't have a table at the time. I would be using that grommet machine that took two pieces and I would have to line it up on my knees trying to, oh my God, it was so much of a headache. So things are going to be moving so much more smooth than I guys. I'm going to show you guys when I get that new equipment that's coming in. So, so I'm hoping that you guys took something from the video that you got some inspiration, some motivation, some education up out of this, man. That is my whole goal to give you guys something that you can take away to incorporate into your businesses. So I want to thank you guys so very much for checking in. I'm going to talk to you later, okay? Make sure you love and respect one another. Peace.